Evening, folks. Here we go. Thanks so much. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Okay. So my music's called The Woods, if you like it. Uh, if you don't, it's whatever you want, I suppose. Um, this is one of my songs called uh, Moonlit Tales.
waiting since first light on the darkest summer day. Moon shines across the water that rises in your eyes. They say don't let the sun set, but you won't let me apologize. guys cheers thank you yeah, so I released my debut EP last year and uh, it got picked up by uh, BBC introducing and six music which um, is pretty cool but um, more importantly it's also for sale for a five out of a dodgy suitcase in front of me here so uh, if anyone's interested give me a shout <laughs> um, this is one of those tunes and it's called the start
dead for a while Manage to smile We call a cab Free ride for a mile Thought I'd be with her forever Cause she seemed a little bit clever She thought I could have stayed all day And oh to see her, didn't he guts to see her, in fact it was her idea, stood in my room as bewildering, and oh yeah, we were inseparable, doing cartwheels on Aberdeen Beach in the cold, please, in a pod, legends in a tree, oh yeah, that nothing else existed, then oh Cafe Continental, she seemed a little mental Her focus on marshmallows was not normal to me And oh yeah, how she made me laugh and how she carried it off Not knowing that it would last Oh, just goes to show that you never know What's up along the road, what's up along the road Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs> that was a good woo. Thanks for that. Whoever that was, excellent woo. Um, I'm just going to have to do a very quick tune. There was one problem with having a classical guitar. When you smack it about a bit, it doesn't take kindly to it. Sorry for this dead air time. It's about to, uh, about to come. The next tune I'm going to play you is um, going to be on my next release. So, uh, yeah, if you like my stuff, check out musicfromthewoods.com and all that kind of stuff, and uh, you can hear this one. Um, okay, here we go.
Thanks very much. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to finish with one more song for you. And it's going to be on the next release as well. This is a, a song called Jimmy's Song. And if you've ever been unlucky to have lost anyone, then, um, then you might dig it. Still to throw Slow down 
Thanks very much, guys. Cheers for having me. Thanks. But now mm. we're joined by The Woods. Um, Hi. From Coffee House. So uh, how's Coffee House session going so far? Yeah, so far it's been pretty awesome. A little bit bewildering as well, because um, I think this is my maybe 18th or 19th gig <laughs> or something yeah. in the space of two weeks. So uh, yeah, it's been pretty epic. Um, what's your favourite venue been? And you don't have to say oh, that. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, there's a place up north called, it begins with B, it was pretty good. Uh, no, no, I, I, to be honest, <laughs> it's been really cool because it's just been random and really different. Like most places you go to, it's completely different each time. And, you know, also mixing up with radio and the guys filming stuff occasionally yeah. and stuff like that. It's quite cool. So, yeah, it's been lovely to be here. Yeah. But it's all been pretty good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, um, yeah. What bands and artists influence you? Oh, um, uh, I'm not. I'm into tons of different types of music. Um, I kind of like classical music and jazz, and I'm really into hip hop and electronica and things like that. Um, so whether very, or not very different. Then. Yeah, I was going to say. So whether it kind of like any of that eventually feeds into something, I don't know. I mean, I think kind of um, I like people that cross genres a bit, and I like a yeah. bit of chill. So. I don't know. There's a guy called Sueto Kinch. Um, he's a jazz saxophonist guy who does kind of hip hop and rap as well. And yeah. like that. You know, people that do that kind of thing. Quite cool. Cool. Um, but my music probably doesn't sound like that. No, no. <laughs> no. Not at all. Um, can you tell us a bit about your EP, The Start? Um, um, where did its sort of main influence come from? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's funny you're talking about influences and stuff. I don't really. Um, like, well, you, no, no, I know what you mean yeah. though, but like, I can't really think about what like it's when like when people say, "Oh, what kind of music is it?" You know, I really don't have a clue. You know, but it was um, the tunes kind of came about of probably a bit of almost desperation, some of it, and in the situation I was in because I was kind of in a kind of fairly mundane, you know, office job like a lot of people end up doing yeah. with aspirations to do music and it became that I was doing music until sort of two, three in the morning, then going to work and all this kind of stuff and something I had to give and and then I decided I was gonna give it a proper punt. And so hence why it's called the start, I suppose. And yeah. uh it's kind of a lot about that and where I was at the time mm. and um yeah, that kind of stuff. Do you have any guilty pleasure songs? Guilty pleasure songs? Guilty pleasure songs. Oh man, I'm sure I do. Rod Stewart is endlessly guilty <laughs> pleasure of mine. Like, I'm, I, I, I really... I, I've got... There's a, I think it must be when I was young, because I didn't hear that much music when I was young, but Rod Stewart was constant. And so whenever I hear Rod Stewart, even oh, if it's like no. proper cheesy stuff, I'm still like, you know, his early 60s stuff's amazing, but I can't help it. Occasionally I hear like this cheesy stuff and I'm like, oh, that's actually Just quite... Just like singing along in the Yeah, tall earworm like. type situation. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. dear. Um, oh, I shouldn't have... I should have come up with something much cooler than that, shouldn't I? Yeah, <laughs> no. Like, we all have them, right? Yeah, completely. <laughs> I blame my parents. <laughs> yes, it's the parents. Well. Yeah. Um, what do you think you'd be doing if you didn't do music? Like, well, yeah, I worked. I worked in an office and in a bank, and I used to milk cows and grow up on a farm and all that kind of stuff. Oh so um, I've kind of done all sorts of stuff. Um, so God only knows, but um, it was always a plan to do music at some point, and I've always kind of had it in the background. So um, I don't know what I would have done. Um, something outside, probably, but um, I just love this so much. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to do anything else now. No, that's the end now. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Rest of my life. I'll be singing when I have that heart attack, you know, oh hopefully in God. 50 years' time. <laughs> oh, no. Um, on, a, on a lighter note, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you had to completely change your sound, and we sort of touch upon this, like, what what would you do? Like, well, completely reinvented? Yeah, I love guys that develop the sound they make. Yeah. And I'm definitely, like, from what I was a year ago, from where I'm heading, it's definitely changing all the time. So... I know it's going to become a little bit more electronic and a bit more kind of contorting sounds and things like that because um, I'm already kind of playing around with a lot of that in the background yeah, but yeah. still a little bit nervous about doing it in public. Oh. <laughs> so probably um, a lot more of that type of thing So uh, is probably what I'd probably try and change. I don't yeah. know. Oh, um, that's interesting. If I could, and also if I had a better accent, I've got a really weird accent because I've kind of lived in Australia for about seven years and I come from Scotland and I lived in London for a bit. And, oh so gosh. I sound like a weird mongrel. If I had a better accent, I would <laughs> rap. But I sound so oh, lame no. when I rap that I'd, I'm never, ever going to rap. <laughs> oh, I hope, like, I really want to hear some of that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> Um, what have you got planned after coffee house session? Um, I'm 
I'm almost finished um, recording the kind of next release and it's taking a little while to kind of find the sound that I wanted yeah. right um, and I'm kind of there and I've got loads of tunes and I'm really excited so I've got to hunker down and actually do some graph to get it finished yeah. properly yeah. and then get it out there basically when can we sort of yeah well I don't know them. I think it'll be in the next few months but um, I'm having a couple of chats with some people about maybe whether you know who's going to release it and what we're going to do about it and all that kind of stuff so yeah. depends what happens with that basically well, um, fingers, so, fingers crossed it'll be soon though yeah yeah well I hope so as well I'm all on board for that nice yeah, yeah so most of the tunes I was playing tonight were yeah. kind of on that new yeah. thing um, right I've got another question mm-hmm. we've been asking it to all of the coffee house artists that have come yeah right um, what is your go-to pizza topping pizza topping like yeah. What's your favourite topping on pizza? Well, do you know, I'm vegetarian, but I love anchovies and things like that on pizza. So oh. I have like this conflicting brain thing <laughs> going, you know, I want, but I, I don't want. And so, yeah, that's probably, I don't know. I, I used to hate it as well. It would literally make me sick. And now I'm like, anchovies, give me them. Oh, no. Yeah. What's your opinion on pineapple on pizza? Yeah, I, d- I dig pineapple. Pineapple, oh, ham no. and pineapple. I used to do a lot. No. That used to be my go-to. <laughs> that's like I think I, it was you know that I, I went to uni up in Aberdeen and having a you know Hawaiian pizza. It was the tropical. You know, you're up in the cold. You've oh. got to get stuck into that. Oh no. <laughs> oh, and finally, uh, where can our listeners find out more about you online? Oh, that is an excellent question. Yes. Thanks for that one. <laughs> uh, um, they can go to. I'm on all the stuff. You know, um, they can go to musicfromthewoods.com. Um, is kind of takes you through everything so um, you can buy music see what's going on, see some vids do whatever, but musicfromthewoods.com There we go, so go check out The Woods